Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, you start to be used to it, we are doing the fan prediction video, so the day of the game, we do, we ask actually a fan from around the world, a Juventus fan, to join me, no need for preparation, no need for whatever, it just people that wants to speak a bit about their their passion for Juve, but also the prediction of today, what do they believe, and today I'm honored I'm honored to meet Francisco, mi hermano, my friend. How are you, buddy? I'm really good, really good. Really, really excited about today's game. Really excited yeah. about today's game. Yeah, yeah. I want to win. I want to win. I, I need this one. Even, even without Ronaldo? No, no worry. For We're supposed to beat Verona without Ronaldo. If we need Ronaldo to beat Verona, then we have a big problem. Absolutely. I totally agree. We will come back to uh, what you think about the game. First, I want to say thank you to everyone because this morning we had a live and we reached the 8,000 subscriber even more now. So I'm super happy about that. Thank you, guys. So don't forget, put the maximum of like for the video for Juventus and for Francisco. Now, that being done, where are you from, Francisco? Well, I'm from Puerto Rico. Those oh. who don't know Puerto Rico in the Caribbean, and we are a small island in the Caribbean, and and I'm from Puerto Rico. That's that's why. And I from yeah? uh, the love, the love from Juve from Puerto Rico. How, how is that possible? Man, it was pretty lucky. Luck. I was changing. Uh, I started watching football like the first game I saw was Italy. Uh, one of Italy's games in 2006 World Cup. I was. I was young. I'm I'm only 22. So uh, then I I saw a game in 2010 uh, from Juventus. I was just changing channels, and I said, "Oh God, wow, I like that team. They look good. They fight, and and that's where where I fell in love with Juventus. That, that's a love story. In, in 2010, we were not even a good team. Huh? We were quite we bad. Huh? We, we we finished in uh, seventh place. If I'm not yes. Mistaken. So, but I like it. I, I, I love fighters. I'm a grinder. And, uh, and uh, when I see people fighting, I fell in love. Uh, I fell in love with that team. That's what I like about that team. And uh, from 2010 to 2020, actually, that's 10 years. How did you see Juventus change uh, and, and your love for Juventus grow, actually? Oh, eh? uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, because as you said, we weren't that good. And actually, I didn't know that Juventus had all that back history. Uh, so it was a surprise for me, like uh, three, four years later, when I started knowing about the story of Juventus, how old Juventus is, the story behind Juventus, uh, and the bad things also. You have to know about the bad things also. Yeah. But I was like, damn, this, this is not about, uh, this is not a middle of the table team at all. So I was, it was pretty cool for me. And what I love about uh, when we, as we kept growing, we still fought. And, uh, I know people in Juventus don't like Conte uh, as a, as a person, uh, as a manager, everybody respects him. As a person, no, no, everybody likes him. But uh, I'm gonna be always grateful for uh, to him because something that he brought was the attitude. He brought uh, that winner attitude, that fighting attitude that is very important, and it's something that we as uh, Juventus maintain throughout. We lost that like two two years ago we were like kind of not doing don't don't having the correct mentality but uh, something that i would see about people is that 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 hunger is back so that's something that i like and I, I, I agree with you because Conte, we don't like him because for sure uh, he went to Inter and yeah. it hurts always the heart, of you know, course. for people that loved him, especially people that watched him as a player, as a captain and a coach, it hurts. But we 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 cannot say that um, Conte is not uh, a warrior. He is a warrior. He's a winner and we have to respect that. That's a fact. Um, speaking about today, because people, they they want to know the prediction they like okay. the prediction of today what we believe you know it's like prediction town now what what the, what we believe about today your prediction what do you think about the game tell me a bit francisco well uh, for those who haven't seen it go watch el tactico the video of mo it's pretty good but uh he said something that's very true uh, verona is a good defensive team it's very organized 
I told you said this before, but uh, I think Verona's back uh, back line is not as great as the number says because the entire team plays defense, which is great because that's the correct way to play defense. The entire team playing the, that defense, and uh, it's not going to be easy. But uh, there are some things that I saw on the games before that have made me believe that Juve should win this game. Not only because we are Juventus and we are, have a better team, but, but some tactical things and uh, and some defensive liabilities that Verona have on the back line that I think we should win. Definitely. You, you, win. you expect a beautiful game or a boring game with a lucky goal? Well, I don't know if it's going to be a lucky goal, but it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to fight for a goal. It's not going to be a walk in the park. Uh, and we're going to have to fight, but that's good. Uh, we need to develop that uh, sense of fighting since the start and taking in consideration how the Serie A is going. The, the small teams are not just rolling over. They are fighting back. You if, can see if, that. If I'm not wrong, oh, Napoli just scored because they were losing versus Benevento. Yeah. And as we speak, they just, just scored. Hmm. Uh, sorry, sorry. Nah, it, sorry, to the the fans. sorry to the Benevento fans for speaking about them. Yeah, unlucky because they started quite well. Huh? But yeah. Uh, yeah. Insigne scored the first goal for Benevento, the Roberto. Now the yeah. other one scored, the brother, no, yeah. and now it's Petania. Petania that just scored the 2-1. It is what it is. Um, score. What what score do you think, uh, Francis? 2-0. I'm not worried about uh, I'm not worried about Verona's offense, honestly. I'm not and, uh, who will score? Uh, I think Alvaro is going to score, and Dybala is going to score. He wants his money. It's time to pay. You he, he's he's saying to Paradici, bring out the money, brother. Bring out the money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bring the, bring the money, Paradici. Yeah, if if we score, we do. Uh, well, okay. Speaking about Dybala, uh, would you extend him right away? Oh, for me, yes. How many maximum? He's twenty six right now, right? Yeah. 26. So now now oh, he's yeah. earning seven point five million. He's twenty seven years. Uh, seven. Uh, yeah, seven point five, and he's he asking fifteen. Fifteen is too much. I think, but I truly think if Juventus go 14, you, uh, Dybala would have said 14. But I understand him 12 or 11, that's too low for him, for a player of his caliber. And the, the thing always with Dybala is where you're going to put him up. But in this kind of scheme that Fidlo is presenting, he can play in two, two positions. He can play on the as a striker. Which I don't think is gonna be his preferred position when you have Morata was bought for something, and you have Cristiano. Cristiano is not going to move anywhere. Yeah, and Chris, also Cristiano is rocking our hairstyle. You need to know. He's he copying me, us. He called me last week and told me I need a new style, and, and I told him uh, you better rock your separate style, and you're gonna look fine. And he's looking good. He doesn't have the beard though. He doesn't have the. Beard. He <laughs> yeah, but. No, nobody's perfect. Huh? Nobody's perfect. But <laughs> yeah, sorry for him. But going back to Juve, <clears throat> he can play hard. I think he can be a trequartista. He can be a trequartista. And, Kulusev <clears throat> and Kulusevsky can come from the bench because he's still young. He's 20. And Kulusevsky can be that bench striker that we need. But I think... Dybala can be a perfect trequartista. He did that uh, before with Allegri. He played in that position and he did good. So I don't know why he couldn't play that position. I want to see him in that position today. I don't think that's going to happen. But I want to see him in that position today. I'm curious to see what will happen today. Francisco, thank you for being on the channel. It's a small thank video you. with fans prediction i will already say to the people that we meet ourselves at halftime live as always with the first reaction then we do it post game as every game francisco do you want to close the channel and do you want to do it half english and then we we finish with spanish for the community of spanish oh, people? of course of course of course me gustaría mucho que lo que lo termina claro. en, en español 
lo voy a terminar en español, but first in English. For those uh, uh, people who speak English, I want to say, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you said but he's, he's a great guy. He has created a great community. And I don't know what you're thinking. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, you're crazy. So you better subscribe. Now in Spanish. A toda esa gente que está viendo el video, suscríbanse al canal. Suscríbanse al canal porque Giuseppe es súper bueno y el tipo brega es 100% bueno. Y si tú estás viendo el video y no te has suscrito, tú estás loco. Gracias, Francisco. Me, gust me gusta mucho. Y tú lo sabes, cuando quieres es el bienvenido en el canal y podemos hacerlo una, una vez en español, todo en español. Que me gustaría hacerlo para la primera vez un video 100% en español. Yeah, te ayudo, te ayudo. I help you, I'll help you. Gracias, a la próxima vez. Gracias y fuerza y como se dice. Hasta la muerte. Hasta, la mu hasta el final. Adiós. Adiós.